welcome to this uh, living room slash dining room makeover you saw by the thumbnail. Sometimes, actually, I thought about putting this into two videos, but let's be real, you kind of want to see start to finish in one video. Nobody has time to come back for part two. <laughs> and I got dogs barking. This is going to be vlog style. This is real life. If you've been around, you know, I have dogs. There's kids playing outside. Just is going to be real life. So I prefer to do face to face rather than a uh, voiceover. I, there are, there's a time and a place for voiceover, but for me, I prefer the face to face. So I'm going to do that as much as possible. There may be a few times when I have to do voiceover, but we'll just see how it goes. Today is Saturday for me. Jackson has a four day weekend. So that means that I don't have to get all the regular weekend things done like usual, like the laundry and the grocery shopping and all that, I can kind of extend it a little bit. So it gives me a little more freedom to get this project done. Marion, of course, only has two days off, so I need to utilize him as much as I can. He's uh, been working this morning already on one of the little projects, but I'm gonna go through the living room and the dining room and show you, if you're new here, you don't know what my living room looks like, it's connected to my dining room. Um, we have a small house. I'm gonna start over here and show you the lighting is all, uh, not that great in this house, but bear with me. Um, so the living room, dining room is connected. And so we're going to be doing kind of like a makeover of this whole space. I was going to do a living room and a dining room, but a lot of it is kind of carried over and it's kind of the same thing. So I'm going to go through real quick and show you some of the things that we're going to be working on. And then we've got to get to the store because we've got to get some supplies. So this is a space about a year ago. I did a big kind of living room makeover. I got a new rug, I got new furniture, painted the walls the sea salt color, and we did put these wood beams, or these pieces of wood, they're not beams, um, around the window, and they were stained uh, just a dark wood color. And then I've since gone back and painted them white because I felt like they were way too dark because you can see the lighting in here. I don't have big windows, I don't have a lot of windows. So I don't want to, I don't know, it was too dark. It was too dark. So I went ahead and painted those, but I do, I'm still in love with this green wall color. It's beautiful. We did take the furniture and put it downstairs. We, and, and then we got this different sofa and it's, um, if you know, you know, it's not my favorite, but I'm working with it and it's very comfortable and it is lighter, which I like. The other couches were darker. And then we built this kind of like entertainment center with just one of those little fireplace stands from Lowe's and then I bought some bookshelves from Amazon and we just put a piece of wood across the top. This is the one of the things Marion has been working on which I will explain that at some point during this video but one of the things I'm going to be doing is taking the backs off of the bookshelves. We're going to put some brick wallboard there. We're going to build a board and batten wall right here with some hooks for just an entryway for coats and purses. So then in here in the dining room we're going to be doing a few things. I'm going to be putting board and batten along the walls and probably painting a few pieces of furniture. I'm going to be painting my chairs. We're going to be doing a little something to the hutch and possibly moving the light over a little bit so that it's more centered over the table. That's possible. <laughs> but it's going to be lots of changes. We're going to be adding some curtains, some pillows. I'm going to keep my rug for now. It's only a year old and I don't spend much on my rugs because I like to replace them about every year. But it looks pretty good and I do have a carpet shampooer so I may just freshen it up see you know I think I can keep that for now but I am always trying to make the beige and the gray work together and then of course you know I love green so I love pale pastel shades and greens blues and grays are my favorites so that is what the space looks like before and then we'll get started we've got to go pick up a lot of supplies and then we'll be home and we can get this project started <music> painting supplies where are we Har Harbor, Freight. Harbor Freight yeah and pretty good prices here for that all right last stop hopefully 
before supplies is Lowe's. Home Depot didn't have two, but they didn't have eight foot pieces that were good, so, and I would like to get my paint at Lowe's. Hopefully they have, hopefully I can find the color I want. So many to choose from. This is what I have in the, this is my main color, sea salt. I like this one, no. No, which is the one I like? <laughs> yeah, this one with it, that's pretty, but I got rain washed, hopefully. Hopefully rain washed is gonna be what I need. Paint prices are crazy these days. Gotta grab two more pieces of wood and I got my paint, but I'm worried that it's too similar. It's so close to what I have. The lighting in here is terrible. See, it's very close. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so we're finally home. It's dinner time. We, we actually picked up dinner. <laughs> you trying to blow your nose quietly? He blows his nose so loud. We ate dinner because I figured we don't want to stop and go get back out. There are so many people out today. Everything took so long and everything is so dang expensive. I cannot believe how expensive things. I mean, I know I sound like a broken record and we all feel it, but $40 for a can of paint. I've never in my life paid $40 for a cheap, can of white paint but we got everything we need well not that i'm sure we'll have to make another trip back to lowe's to probably tomorrow <laughs> he's shaking and say yes but i'm going to show you what i got but he's going to go ahead and start here he took the top off but we have to take these two bookcases um he's going to take the backing off so that he can use them as a template to cut the wall board and i'll show you i showed you when we picked it up at home depot but right now we'll just uh take all these apart and then we gotta get started because it's already, like I said, evening. But I'm gonna show you the, the things that we picked up. So this is a flower box that Mary made me. I was gonna have him make it a little bit bigger, but this is the wood that he already had and I'd just rather use the wood he had. And this is gonna go on the top when I'm finished and I have some plants that I bought at Hobby Lobby the other day that I'm gonna put in it. And I'm gonna stain it and then I'm going to whitewash, well, then I'm gonna paint it white and then sand it down just like I did the corbels up here. So it'll be like a weathered chippy look, which I love. So we also grabbed some rollers, a paintbrush, some liners, two things of liquid nails, but I have no idea if that's gonna even be enough. And then three things of caulk. I don't know why we got two and three, but we just did. Um, and then the paint that I got was the rain washed. Here's a better look at it in that in our house, the color in our house. This is the this is the color of the walls, and then this is rainwashed. And see, it's very similar. So I'm probably going, I pulled this up. This is just a mixture of a bunch of different paint. It's what I painted this blue. So that's not like an actual color. It's just a color I mixed. So I'm probably gonna add a little bit of that to this just to make it darker, just cause I wanna make sure it's the right shade. And then, oh, and then this is the sea salt that I had left over. There's a few spots up here I need to touch up. So, and then all the wood and all that is out in the back of the, the car. But I'm gonna tell you what we decided to do over here. We're just gonna do, it's, it's faux board and batten, Marion, let me know, because board and batten, you actually put a board on the wall and then you put wood over it. Is that what it is? That's the board? Anyway, it's faux board and batten. So we're just gonna put the wood pieces on the wall. I'm sure you've seen it. It's all over YouTube, super easy, super, super simple way to make a wall look, I think, way better. <laughs> So we're gonna do, uh, we bought 30, they had 30, they, were, they said they were four feet, but they were only 39 inches. So I'm actually gonna just do 39 inches across here on this side and then on this side as well. And then I'm gonna paint those the ultra white. And then I'm going to do it a little different on that side and that's gonna be painted this, this rain washed color. So we just have a lot to do and I'm stalling and talking and all that. So <laughs> I need to get off of this camera and start working. Clyde is always curious, gotta check it out. <laughs> So I'm just gonna take the backing off, use it as a template, and then cut. <laughs> Glad you're cracking me up. Cut the other one, or the other, you know, the wallboard to the size. We had to have a cutout for our alarm system, and then a cutout down there for the plug. While he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and open this and put some on the wall and let it 
dry next, you know, on top of the sea salt so I can see. I know I'm probably putting way too much energy into this color, but I really wanted, I really wanted this color to be, to be the right one. And I don't know, it's so close. I don't know. This is gonna be over here, so I'm just gonna put it here. Look at that, <laughs> you can't even see. Wow, that is, wow. That is like identical to sea salt. We will let it dry and then we'll see. Okay, so I went ahead and opened this up and stirred it. This is, like I said, it's this blue color. And this is kind of scary, but I think I'm gonna just add green to this. Oh, I don't know, cause see this is so full. I don't know. But that is so almost exactly like the wall colors. Maybe I'll, I'm gonna start by adding a little bit of this into here. See how much of a difference it makes. And if I have to, I'm just gonna add green into this one because I have, you know, way more room. All right, I felt like I'm making this way too complicated. I went ahead and dumped some of this blue out so I can have room to dump the green and it won't be too oversaturated with the blue. So hopefully I will get the right shade. This is the brick wall board. Um, Marion's got the fan on down here, so it's kind of loud, but he's gonna go ahead and cut them. And then I'm gonna probably just use white paint and whitewash them instead of doing, I was gonna use spackling, but I think I'm just gonna use white paint and see if I like that look. And if, if I don't, then I'll do it. It's like the German schmear is what they call it the other way. So we'll see which one looks best. to take this scrapbook paper this is just scrapbook paper and underneath it is some contact paper that I had on there before but I'm gonna try to keep these like taped together so that I can pull it off and then Mary can use that as a template to cut the two pieces because this shelf does not come out so we're gonna have to do the two different strips and these are different sizes so I'm gonna do I'm gonna tape it together really good and then pull that off We tried to put them in in one piece and it did not work. So he cut it in half. I'm gonna see if that'll fit. Oh yeah. Uh, it's a little too tall. See, that's what I was thinking. I have to tall. shave it off. Yep. And then I'll caulk that seam. Let's see if the other one is just the same. So that one goes on that side. This one goes on this side. We can mark the back of them left and right. Yep. Okay, so like I showed you, this is just bright white Valspar semi gloss. This was. $40 a can. It was like the cheapest that they had. It was insane. Um, well, I get this semi-gloss. That makes it a little bit more expensive. So I'm going to whitewash this, like I said. Hopefully I like it. If not, I'll do, I'll use the putty that I made my faux bricks with and just, it would make like more of a, like a plaster look, but hopefully I can ha achieve the same look with just paint. So I'm going to, I have two of these. There's one right here going to do both of these. Marion's still working on the other pieces for the hutch, but we're going to see what it looks like. I'm actually excited to see what this is going to look like.
Okay, I'm obsessed. I know this isn't the look for everyone, but I love it <laughs> so very much. It's exactly what I was wanting, and I didn't have to do the German schmear. I love how it's kind of splotchy, like old plaster has come off. That's going to look so beautiful on the back of the bookshelves. Ta-da! And I didn't have to adjust the height on this one. So I'll have to caulk the seam. Ouch. Ooh, you okay? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I almost don't even need to caulk it. It almost looks like it... Yeah, it went together pretty good. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so pretty when it's whitewashed. All right, just going to do the second piece, and then I'm going to do the few pieces for the hutch, but I won't film it because you know what it, you know the process. Super, super easy. This could not be more simple. And, um, yeah, if you're thinking about, if you like the faux brick look and you don't want to do all the work, like I did in my kitchen with the, the tape and the plaster and all that, this stuff is amazing. Right now it's $43 a sheet, but we got enough to do both books, bookshelves and the hutch both shelves and we still have a big piece left over so i'm thinking where else i can put it <laughs> all right while i'm letting those dry i'm going to go ahead and stain this box marion just took one by fours that he had they were actually pretty rough and he sanded them down and then just made this box for me and if you saw my spring porch makeover last year he made me a couple of these for out there for the the porch they're bigger they're bigger than this, but um, this one's longer and just I just wanted something that I could put on top of the TV stand, you know, to put some greenery in. So what I'm going to do is stain it first and I'm going to use the Minwax Honey 272. Stain it, let it dry overnight, and then tomorrow I'll, I will, or whenever, maybe later tonight, I don't know, I'll paint it white. And then once that dries, I can distress it and it will look real chippy. Marion and Jackson are working on this wall over here so once they get it up I'll show you the difference between this wall and that wall but right now I'm gonna go ahead and paint these because that's something I can do I went ahead and got everything off this is gonna be the rain washed green color that I mixed and it's a bummer because I did just paint this and it looks really good but it's a little too blue to go with all the greens and then of course this table this just has like a stained top, but it was a red. It's too red. I don't like it. And, you know, it's just a rough, this is just kind of like, I kind of want it to look rustic, but I think having a few of the darker green pieces are just really going to pop with the white. I just, I don't know. I think they'll be really pretty. So I've got my beautiful painting clothes on. I'm going to paint these two tonight. Don't know how much more we're going to get done tonight, but Marion's working on the, Marion and Jackson are working on the board and batten. And after those are done, I'm going to have to caulk everything, let the liquid nails dry and the caulk. We got paintable caulk, I hope. <laughs> paintable, yes. Just not checking that. But yes, we did. So um, then that'll dry over. Well, I don't know. Probably have to dry overnight. This may run into Monday of a three-day project, but that's okay. Um, but I'm going to get the painting done that I can tonight. And then hopefully... To tomorrow or the next day, I can paint all of that board and batten.
Okay, so those are finished. Maren's actually working on this with Jackson. He's he's having him help him. And I've got this on. This is my um if you're wondering what I listen to <laughs> when I'm when I'm doing projects. Air One Worship Now, download the app. It's amazing, wonderful, uplifting worship music. Love to have that playing when I'm doing stuff, but um she's talking right now. But he had decided he didn't need to use liquid nails, so we'll just return that. He used his brad nailer, and then of course I'm gonna caulk them, so once the caulk is dry, that actually really holds it, secures it to the wall. So um, this one side over here is gonna have the extra um, pieces above it. You know, it's gonna have like, I think we did about 10 inches, and then another piece of wood across the top. Like, a, it, I don't know if it's wider or not. We bought that a while back. And then it's gonna actually have a little shelf that sits across the top. So if I wanted to put pictures or a plant or something up there, I won't have, it, it's very small, so it couldn't be a very wide one. This is, if I had enough room, I would put a couple corbels right here to hold it, but with the door, that's just such a narrow space. So that one is gonna be like this, but the ones, in here in the dining room are only gonna be three feet high. Did I, I might've already told you this. They're just gonna be three feet high with one strip across the top and then just the pieces going down. But I wanted this to be separate, be different, because this is gonna also have hooks over here. So I wanted that to kind of be like the entryway separate. And then I have to decide about the front door because we do have the wood. We're gonna replace the trim around it. It's gonna have this same wood. And then the top is gonna have a big wide one. But I have to decide if I'm going to paint the door a different color. I also have ordered some window, like a window. It's like a room darkening window cover. So I can, if I can scrape this paint off, I'm going to put them on. So it'll just be like black in those because I really need, I want that privacy. I don't like having those open. So I'm going to try and scrape that paint off. So that's another thing that I'm going to do. Lots of things going on. finishing up that he's just gonna cut those last few pieces and put those up tonight his back's really hurting and we're tired it is 10 o'clock <laughs> but I'm gonna go down and paint the flower box that he made for up here because the uh, stain has already dried so I'm gonna paint that let that dry overnight and then tomorrow I can sand it all right box is painted I may do a second coat tomorrow I don't know see how it dries uh, I don't know since I'm gonna sand it I probably won't but come over here where it's a little bit better lighting yeah we'll see we'll see what it looks like when it's dry look at that almost done we still have to put a little shelf on the top but we're gonna do that after we do the door trim well I should say he is gonna do that after the door trim tomorrow so Marion actually did Marion and Michael actually did this in Paisley's nursery a while back he did they did one wall like this so that was the first time he did it but so he already knows how to do it we didn't put a trim, piece of trim at the bottom you can do that though but I really want to get like the quarter rounds to put along the edge we need to, we used to have carpet when we bought this house so there's a gap we never finished it we need to do that all around the bottom all right it is day two working on this project dude perfect is on kind of loud <laughs> um, Marion and Jackson are just starting to work they well then they had to eat but they he's gonna work on this wall first because he said that one is more straight. This one over here is a little wonky. This house, in case you don't know, is in the in its 80s. And so the walls, you know, things have settled and nothing is straight, nothing is even, nothing is easy. So <laughs> he's he's gonna do and he didn't realize when he was saying, Oh, this one will be easier, I'll knock this out. He forgot that our outer walls are cinder block. So uh, so yeah. It's gonna be a, he has to just use different different tools to do that. But I am going to take my chairs out. I pulled them and put them in the kitchen. I'm gonna take these in the backyard so I can spray paint them. I'm gonna show you the color in a second. But I did spray paint them black. They're actually were an oak color when I got them. I got them on Facebook Marketplace as a set with my table and I painted them black and it's held up very well. Um, the spray paint I used, it's the same kind I'm gonna use now, it's just a different color. It's chalk paint. 
cans of spray paint, chalk paint, have gone up to $10 a can. They do have a new Magnolia line for $15 for one can of paint. One can of spray paint. That's insane. And each chair takes one whole can. So that could be really expensive just to paint them. But there's no way I'm going to hand paint them. Spray painting is the way to go. And I want to show you my little tool that I use that I swear by. Everybody always asks me. It's a, this one might, yeah, this one's Rust-Oleum. This little spray paint gun will save your fingers, save your hands. You won't get paint all over you. And when you're painting this much, your hand gets really sore after you know, holding that nozzle. And this one has like a big nozzle. So if it's a can with the bigger top, which I think these are, um, this is just amazing. You just hold it like this and spray and it's amazing. So I'm gonna take these in my backyard, spray these. Let me go grab this spray paint and I'll show you what color. So they were out of this at my Lowe's so they only had one. So I did find this at Hobby Lobby. I gotta get my glasses. So it's the Krylon Chalky Finish in Misty Gray. And this is also the exact color I painted, my, or the exact paint that I painted my nightstands with in my bedroom. And that this paint has held up amazingly. This is the best spray paint. So good. So I figured it would be really good for the, I think it's the same exact, I think it's the same exact brand and everything that I did the black and it's held up amazing. So they are $10 a can, but it's amazing paint. So I'm gonna take these outside, work on these. And when I get inside, I've got lots of other things to do, but they are getting the one wall up. Jackson's learning some very valuable lessons. Skills. skills skills for life life skills yeah yeah saving my back and yes saving marion's poor back <laughs> have you ever done that no i think we're good all right so let's go ahead and nail that one Thankfully, it's a beautiful day today. It's gonna to be 61 degrees, it's sunny and windy. I was hoping I didn't even check the weather for today, um, but I knew I needed to spray paint, so. <laughs> So um, hopefully I do not run out. That wind is ridiculous. So I ended up using way more spray paint than I would have. Thankfully I had about that much. I, it felt like about that much in a can down in the basement of the same exact paint. So I was able to finish the last chair. Otherwise I would not have had enough. I would have had to go get another one. And I actually told you wrong. They were $8.49 at Hobby Lobby for those cans of paint. So I think they were $10 at Lowe's. That's why I didn't buy them there went to Hobby Lobby, but, and they only had four cans. So I was really praying that God would make it stretch. And all of a sudden I'd have this like massive gust of wind. You can probably hear it. I don't know if you can hear it. Look, that's the wind. <laughs> anyway, got it done. I'm gonna let them dry. They should dry really fast because of the wind. Mary and Jackson are almost done with the one wall. Once they get them done, I can start caulking them, letting that dry. I do have a few places I need to touch up paint, like up there, and then haven't decided about the door yet. Okay. All right, this one is done. That's right. awesome. Looks so cool. I'm gonna have to caulk everything and then paint. 
and to finish the other side so all the board and batten is done this is just super simple like i said you can put all kinds of trim on it on the shelf you can space them apart however much you want you can do you know more beams to make squares it's just board and batten super versatile you can do whatever you think looks best so that's what i did a little shorter in here now they're working on taking the door trim off he had to pull the alarm off and look at that wall <laughs> It's going to look so nice when we have the wide trim on it. Here's the flower box from last night. It's dried. It could definitely use another coat, but since I'm going to sand it, I'm not going to worry about it. Alright, so that's what it looks like. I ended up using the 80 grit. It was way better. That's what Marion told me that was. Um, this side looks better, I think, than this side. So, and then I did the ends. I bought these at Hobby Lobby. They were half off, so they were $12.99 for two of them. And these are the same ones I have in my flower boxes out front. I wish I bought three of these and I may go back and get another one tomorrow when they're half off. But for now, I'm just going to use these wire cutters and cut these individual pieces off and I was going to put real dirt in here that's what I did outside of my flower boxes but this is so much smaller I think I can just lay the greenery in here and it will look fine but we'll see what it looks like Once I get this up there when it's ready, I'll fluff it up and see if I need to add more. But I think it's really pretty. And I can also add, you know, different florals for different seasons. Or I could add maybe some pine branches at Christmas. Mary and I have to get a razor and like smooth this out so that the board will lay flat. And I told him I wanted it to overlap just like a half inch at the top. And then those will be painted white.
right, these are the top ones. I stuck those in because they were easy and they're not falling, but Mary's just gonna super glue. It's a real fancy technique. It's gonna super glue these to the back. Actually, it's on this paper, so if I ever did wanna remove them, you could just pull it off. Marin got one of the bookshelves finished, and then he's just cutting the holes in this one because there's gotta be a couple holes in it, but I love it so very much, so very much. And now, um, I don't know, there was just a lot of white before, and I just put like a picture in there, and it was just so much white, so I thought this would give it like dimension, a little color. that will be more fun to decorate like this. All right, I brought the chairs in. I really don't have room for them inside right now, but it's getting dark. I don't wanna leave them out. So once all this is fixed, they'll look a lot better, but this, this gray color is so beautiful. I love how soft, <laughs> sorry for the constant noise, constant uh, sawing. So these are the hooks that we got. I thought I bought four, but I could only find three, but I found the other one. These are gonna go up here. I was gonna put the three on these three boards, but since there's four, which I thought there was, I'll do one, two, three, four. Four is better, I'm glad I got four. But if I can find them, I'll link them down below. Just got them at Lowe's, they were like three something each. That's the brand. I liked them, they were, I like that they're black and they were kind of like heavy duty industrial looking. Bookshelves are way heavier than they look. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so it will work. It's just. <laughs> It'll work. It's time for me to paint, so I'm gonna get that knocked off the list tonight. And then tomorrow we'll be able to put up the curtains and do like all the finishing touches.
All right, so the next day, it is day number three of this project. And I've got my painting clothes on again today, same ones I wore yesterday because I have been painting the second coat this morning on the white and the green. And the white is going to probably need a third coat. So I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll know, but I feel like it's definitely, it's that raw wood, you know, just sucks, in, sucks up the paint. So the first coat is kind of just like a primer, but it's looking so beautiful. Look how bright and white and with the chairs. I just love that, like I said, that cool, color combo is so beautiful to me but um i'm going to do some touch-ups of the green sea salt paint because like i showed you above the window back there there's some spots and then over here i got a little paint on the wall and i have to let that dry though before i can touch it up so the these are the spots up here from some old holes that he patched and we're about to put new holes in the wall so hopefully when that white is done actually also when I took the tape off, I didn't have painter's tape, so I used masking tape, and it just kind of messed all up, messed the edge all up. So I'm gonna go over this again, also with some more caulk when it's all said and done, so that I can uh, make that a clean edge. I just went around the room and touched up any little spots. This is also the same color in my pantry, so there's a few little tiny spots in there too. So I'm gonna throw this away and then I'm gonna go do the same exact thing in my bedroom with another sponge brush and just get all the, get everything touched up. I'll show you the little spot in there that needs to be, actually it's not little, it's huge. <laughs> Marion um, fixed it and then didn't think to ask me if I had the matching paint. So it's a good thing that I do because it's huge. So yeah, I'm gonna touch that up and then if there's any other spots that I see that I need to, I'll do the same thing. Okay, it's a few hours later. Marion has been working, but he's gonna come up now and hang my curtains. So we're gonna hang those, hang the hooks by the front door, and then I'm gonna pull out my pillows and all my decor and put all that up and give everything a nice cleaning. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like at the end. I'm also gonna do a third coat of the white, but not today. I'm probably gonna just do that tomorrow. I wanna be able to hang the curtains because all the paint has dried and I just wanna get that done. But this is something I can come back in and do tomorrow. Okay, scratch that. Always a delay, always something with this old house. Marion doesn't have the drill bit to fit to go into the concrete, which is weird because he's, I don't know how it works. <laughs> he's hung curtains up many times, but I guess it's the screws that came with the curtain rods. So he's gonna run to Lowe's. So while he's gone, I'm going to put all this decor up and I have been working with it to see, you know, when you decorate shelves or whatever, it's a process. So, um, got a lifetime movie. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put the decor up. This was the box. I went ahead and put that up here. I just put the greenery in it. I think it's so pretty. I love how it's long. I wanted something long. It might be a little small. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's beautiful though.
down in the basement ever since we redid it for Madison down there. I put it at the bottom of the stairs. I like having a mirror there and I might get another one, but I thought it would just be so pretty right here. And it would just bring in the light, reflecting the light from the other side. I just think it's gonna be so pretty right there. Okay, these are the curtains that I chose. They have lots of different colors, and I really went back and forth. Do I want green or do I want gray? And I chose the green. They are 84 inches long, and they're called Randall. I think that's the brand, Randall. And I thought they were linen, but it says polyester, which is totally fine. I didn't want linen, actually. But they're real sheer, so that it will like let a lot of light in. I didn't want anything that was gonna make you know, my room darker. And I got curtain rods down there. They are linked all in my Amazon shop, but this is what they look like. And they screw together. It's four pieces that screw together, so it's real sturdy. And this is 60 inches wide. It says 30 to 60, but you can't adjust it in between. It's either 60 or you could take one of these out or two of these out and make it shorter, but it's not like fully adjustable. But I needed 60 inches because I wanted them to go further than the sides of the window. And then um, they go up. He's marking the spot above it, so it's a little bit above too. So it just kind of makes the window look a little bit a little bit bigger. Okay, I did four, I had to move them past the, since they have the grommets, I can move them past the hooks. And they're beautiful, they make the window look so much wider. And one down, two to go. <laughs> I love them, I think they're so pretty. They're a little sh different shade of green than the wall, which I would have loved if they were that shade, but I knew they were different and I thought it was pretty though. I love the green, I didn't want gray just because, I don't know, I didn't want too much gray. I thought the green would pop and it does it's beautiful and when it's sunny like in the pictures the sunshine coming through the windows through the sheer curtains was really pretty and I don't feel like it's taking up you know it's not covering too much of the window hardly any actually the only one that I'm concerned about is this one this one panel and I haven't had curtains for years because of that but I was like this whole window will be fine this window will be fine and one of these so this one I'm just gonna have to make it work I might even if, if I hate the way that it looks, I might trim it and just like have it sit right at the couch, at the level of the couch. I don't know. We'll see, but I really wanted to go with curtains, so I love them. And there it is with the cat perch. So the curtains are hung. This is drives me a little crazy, but it's not too bad. It's really not too bad. And I think it was a good call to go ahead and put up the curtains. They just add 
dimension and warmth. I love them so much. Marion still has to put the hooks up, but he had to leave. So I'm going to throw, show you my throw pillows. I actually had these inserts already, but I did buy these cases off of Amazon. It was a four pack that was 29, I think it was like $30. And this was the neutrals. It'll be linked in my Amazon shop, but, and these will be under home decor. But the um, fourth pillowcase was the exact color of the couch and so I'm not going to use that one. I actually bought it just because I liked the green and the gray. I thought that this, that there were several different um, packs and this was the neutrals and I just thought these went perfectly with the colors in my living room. So I'm just going to add these to the couch for now. I'm going to go ahead and leave these fluffy ones but I'll probably take these down once it starts to get warmer, you know, towards summer. I don't know. To me they're kind of like um, wintry you know, wintry pillows. But for now, I'm going to leave them. I'm just going to throw these on here. And then when Marion gets back, he's going to put the hooks up. But I'm probably going to wait till tomorrow for me to do, um, to show you everything just because the, the sunshine will be coming through the windows. It'll be a totally different look than at night. Right now, it's just a bunch of curtains. I feel like <laughs> there's just curtains. I don't know. They're just everywhere. Green, green and white curtains. I, it, I have to get used to it. But in the daylight, when the, when the sunshine's coming through the windows, it'll be pretty. So I guess uh, I'll put these pillows on the couch and then I'll be right back and I'll show you what the hooks look like and the final reveal of everything. finished and it looks so beautiful. I love everything about it. It's so, so worth all the work that we did. All the work I should say that Marion did. <laughs> I did a lot but I feel like he did so much more. He's always a trooper and he's always like willing to do whatever I ask him to do and especially if it involves woodworking because he loves woodworking and I'm so grateful because I'm like if you get a new saw that just means you gotta make me you know 
do do home improvements with me and he loves to so I still have to do a few things I'm gonna put another coat of white on these and I'm gonna caulk I went today and got some caulk for that so be watching for that video because I'm doing a kind of like a get it all done but it's gonna be over a few days and I've already started so that video will be coming up probably next after this one so be looking for that but also I wanted to let you know um, we are gonna move the light still, but we have to find the right kind of bracket. And see how it's not centered over the table, we are gonna center it, we just have to find the right kind of bracket to, to do that. So, but um, it, everything looks so light and airy and I love the curtains and I'm not too upset with it being squished right there. It's not too, too noticeable. Madison came over last night, she didn't even notice it. So, and I just love this area right here to hang our jackets or our purses or, you know, bags or whatever when people come over it's just gonna be, gonna be so nice to have this place for that and then if I had room I would obviously like build a bench for shoes and everything but with the door being so close you know we we could only have a little shelf I haven't put anything up here don't know if I will but it'll be fun to decorate maybe for the holidays I also still want to redo my front door at some point I have not exactly decided I don't have any more of that exact paint color so I'm gonna decide soon about what I'm gonna do there, but it's always seems like you do a few things and then you have a few more things to do with an older house or, you know, just wanting to update it and keep it, keep everything current. And I just love the look of the light, cool, open, airy, I don't know, decor. That's just my style. So I love it. I hope that you love it. I hope that you enjoyed this super long video. Uh, so make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos, these are the, the kind of videos that do the best on my channel. So I hope that you enjoyed it, but make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I do lots of day in the life, lots of vlogs, lots of, you know, DIYs, just homemaking, mom life, things like that. If you love that kind of thing, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I love you all so much and appreciate you coming and watching this, spending the day with me, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.